Over the next few weeks, many colleges and schools will be out for spring break. And when you're out of town, you want to make sure you and your kids stay safe. Matt from the Asian Arts Center is here with tips to help protect you during your vacation. Great to have you back here on the show. We're, we all have that spring break fever itch right now. And when you're out and about and you're not too familiar with where you're going to be going, it's so important to just be aware of your surroundings. Situational awareness, that's the number one thing that all law enforcement wants you to know so that you can stay safe. Pay attention to what's happening around you. And I know you guys know this better than I do. But what's the number one situation uh, situational awareness killer or focus killer that we all care yeah there it is right here yeah and so if you have to use your phone and let's be honest you're going to use your phone you're going to have it with you you might need to use your phone stop put something behind you like a wall bring it up so that you can see what else is going on around you don't just get so sucked into there and especially if you're a parent and you have little ones around you i've seen it now kids go missing not like kidnapped but they lose track of their kids in an instant and it mm -hmm. doesn't take long and if we're talking about uh, spring break we're talking about pools we're talking about open water it only takes 90 seconds for someone to to drown mm -hmm. and so you know when do you use it make the right time if you're in a new situation you're alone at night stay off your phone or again find the right place to do it go to the supermarket in a clouded or a crowded area where there's a lot of lighting use your phone put it back in your pocket you know, go about your business. But pay attention to those things. It's very simple, but it's a big, big And pay attention step. to what your gut's telling you. Everybody always talks about a gut feeling. Yeah. Follow it. The second tip is, you know, it's those feelings of, it, of something's wrong are there for a reason. We have those because, you know, there, we can pick up on those things. We have more than just sight, smell. We have another sense, a sixth sense that lets us know that if something's not right, it probably isn't. So get out of there. Don't stay there. If somebody seems creepy or weird, they may be, they are, but you know, don't learn your mistake the hard way. Get out of there and stay safe. And you kind of touched on it already, just making sure that you're having that conversation with the kids about this, uh, putting the phone down, making sure that they're aware of where they are and so yeah, on and, so and, forth. And, and with, with, whether your kids are older and you're telling them, hey, pay attention to what's going on around you, you know, stay off your phone, what we just talked about, or if it's little kids and you know as a family you're gonna be in a crowded area going to Disney World or whatever, tell them this is what we have to do if you get lost here's who to look for here's where to meet up give them an idea of what they should do create you know make it super simple if they're little but give them an idea of how they can feel safe or get back in touch with you who to go to if they get separated from you but make that plan and talk to your kids this is what you have to do tell them what to do and if you face a situation Matt has talked about before but we have that 30 seconds left run hide and fight that is always something you should keep in your pocket okay, run hide fight we know that terror is now a real issue and this is the time that it happens they look for great opportunities like this whether it's a weirdo somebody mentally ill or a yeah. real terrorist pay attention be prepared to run as fast as you can get out of there hide behind something or if you have to, fight, and I can help you with that. Yeah, absolutely. You can always check out the website. You can see it there at the top of the screen and the address listed there as well. Matt, Thank as always, so great much. seeing you. Thank you.